It's almost the most wonderful time of the year. 20 days of amino acids. So every day throughout the month of December, I'm going to open up a new position on my geeky sort of advent calendar and tell you all about a different amino acid. So amino acids are protein building blocks or letters among other functions as we'll see. They can also serve as like precursors for various hormones. These amino acids, you can think of them kind of like charms um, that can come together to make a charm bracelet. And so these amino acids get their name from having an amino group and a carboxylic acid group and they use those groups to join together to link together to form long chains polypeptides that fold up to fold functional proteins and how these proteins fold up is going to depend in part on that third part of the amino acid which is the unique side chain or R group this is like the charm on the charm bracelet it's going to stick out um, from the backbone and these charms have different properties some are really small some are really big um, if you have something small it's gonna be easier to fold up into awkward positions if you have something big it's gonna be harder they also have different charges sometimes as well as whether or not they play nice with water so are they hydrophilic they like hanging out with water you can find them on the surface of proteins or are they hydrophobic water tries to avoid them and so they get clumped together on the inside of proteins all these different properties are going to influence how the protein folds how it gets what, what shape it takes and that's going to influence how it functions as as well and so every day I'm going to take you through one of the 20 common amino acids um, as well as a couple of uncommon ones that um, that we'll see a little bonus um, pyrolysine and selenocysteine we'll talk about at the end but there are 20 common genetically encoded amino acids which means that in the genetic instructions for making the proteins there are the instructions for putting in these amino acids with the help of a protein making complex called the ribosome um, and but at the heart of all of this is that primary sequence of the protein the sequence of the amino acids um, and we'll talk more about each of these different amino acids the history the composition, various places you will find it in the body, maybe in proteins and other functions as well. So there's a really a lot of different biochemistry topics you can talk about in the lens of amino acids, things like pyrality, um, right-handed, left-handedness, all these different concepts. Um, and so don't worry, it's not just gonna be boring like talking about a new amino acid every day. It's gonna be hopefully really exciting and I'm gonna be introducing new terms. Um, new terms every day, new concepts every day, and so I think this is the third or fourth year I'm doing this, um, but hopefully it's getting better every year, and so hopefully this will be the best year yet, um, and I hope that you enjoy it. I will also post links. I have a whole page on my blog dedicated to amino acid posts. I have a channel on on my YouTube with all the different amino acid posts. If you can't wait, I'll um, link to like last year's stuff. Um, but hopefully, as I said, I'm going to be doing things fresh this year with some of the old graphics and stuff, but um, new videos and all of that. And I hope that it helps you understand amino acids and how amino acids contribute to proteins as well as play other functions in our bodies and in the world. Um, so way cooler than a charm bracelet and hopefully this calendar is way cooler than your, or this calendar is way cooler than your typical advent calendar. So happy holidays everyone and I will see you in when we talk about the first amino acid.